Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana. If you're new here, if you're not new, welcome back and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Also, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Anyways, it's 12:20. I've been having a very like Monday day, to be honest. First and foremost, the whole series of being underslept due to our lovely neighbor continues. Anyways, today is Monday. It is November 14th and this week is going to be busy because next week we're going to Seattle so I want to make sure that I get a lot of work stuff done I need to make sure that I got that I get a lot of like YouTube and editing stuff done out of the way so that I don't have to worry about it when we're gone next week I just made a copycat harvest bowl but not really because I don't have sweet potatoes in here or rice or any of that it's just kale I made the dressing I have a rotisserie chicken that I added in here apple and goat cheese this is literally the best thing that you can honestly do for yourself during a busy week. Just buy yourself a rotisserie chicken and add it to your lunches or just have it for lunch. So yeah, here's lunch and then I'm going to eat the rest of the apple with some peanut butter. It's almost 3 o'clock. I have a meeting coming up and I'm dead. I actually wanted to go to the promenade and go return something but I have zero energy. I always try to pack a lot of work on Mondays so that way the week is lighter and i'm not super stressed out but holy cow today is really hard to get through and plus i still need to do a lot of my own stuff i still need to edit videos do some writing and all of this stuff and i'm just not having it anyways where i'm going with this is i'm going to take a magic mind shot i have three left i've been taking these for the last this is my second week i started like sometime last week i mentioned these in my last vlog if you have not watched it highly recommend watching that because i explain the benefits of these in detail there but i just wanted to mention that i've been loving them still all of the matches at the bottom let's go get some more stuff done it's the end of the work day and i made soup for dinner that mihai is cleaning up right now and he's making me tea and i'm having dessert i had grapes these boozy chocolates are really good from trader joe's and i opened up this chocolate but i don't like it i'm going to watch the gilmore girls and end the night good morning i think it's like six I'm not sure today i have a doctor's appointment i'm about to get ready to go to the gym a while ago actually surprisingly super quick workout it was only i think it was like eight no was it eight yeah it's like 8 15 when i got home and i specifically timed it that way because i needed to do a lot of work i had a quick breakfast took a quick shower and did a little bit of work and now i'm going to do my hair we're going to go to my doctor's appointment and then a little bit later we're gonna go to the mall because my appointment is like right nearby like this mall area and they have a joey's there which i'm from seattle so joey's was like the one of the nicest places that i ever went to when i lived there and i was never 21 when i lived there so i just like went there for like snacks and food and stuff but it's like a really nice bar and i'm so pleasantly surprised that la has a joey's so we're gonna go there for like an early dinner situation and i want to look semi nice which i don't know how nice you can look after going to the doctor but we're gonna try to look decent all right so i've been wanting these for a while now and i hope crossing my fingers that they fit and that they look good. Tommy, Tony, Tony Bianco. These are like all the rage right now. And they look 
pretty nice. I'm curious how they will look with clothing. They definitely look cute. I'm gonna need to try them on with like jeans or something. But I like it. I'm working from the carpet today. I'm getting so annoyed because the internet is like going in and out. Like there's some kind of outage. Oh, and it's making everything slow. And I really wanna just like have like Christmas vibe music playing with like snow or something on the TV and the YouTube or YouTube is not working. I keep wondering like, you know, there's nothing wrong like my mood in terms of like, I'm not in a bad mood, but I'm kind of being like negative. Like I'm not, I don't know. I'm just like being off as if something bad has happened. That's how I feel. And I keep reminding myself to stop being such a negative Nancy for no freaking reason. Like today's a good day, I got my workout done, I showered, washed my hair, kind of did my hair, like I feel good. And I keep telling myself like everything is fine. I'm such a, what is that word? When you're like a doom gloom kind of person, it's always so hard for me to see the bright side of things, especially when I have like a lot of my mind. I don't know, I'm going to finish this up. And also two minutes ago, I identified the culprit of why I'm a little, I'm feeling a little anxious and it's because the house is not clean. I get major irritation and I don't wanna say anxiety cause it's not like I get anxious when the house is a mess, but like I do get anxious when the house is a mess. So I'm going to finish this up super quick and I'm going to go clean, maybe journal. Maybe I just need to talk, like work through my feelings or something because this is like, unacceptable at this point today's gonna be a great day i'm going to the doctor for like a checkup slash physical but i'm also going to be asking him for a hormonal like a full hormonal blood panel and therefore today's a great day plus we're gonna go to joey's like i'm so excited they have such good food there and i'm gonna hang out with mihai like it's going to be a beautiful day so my point is is that if you're kind of like me and you get into these weird holes of not depression because i'm not depressed but like just like feeling down and feeling blue and feeling anxious and feeling overwhelmed and feeling frustrated with yourself and feeling extremely negative my recommendation is for you to take a step back and just think about the things that are bothering you that you can immediately address for example the dishes in the sink are bothering me i can address that right away the house being slightly messy i can address that right away just address what you can journal write your feelings out i know that sounds so lame but sometimes that's just that you just got to do what you got to do i think these phases always come when it when you least expect it and sometimes you just need to push through the negative push through the bad feelings you're only in control of so much so just do what you can and that's it that is my ted talk and that's exactly what i'm going to do right now i'm going to go clean i'm going to journal We just came home. We did a little bit of damage at the mall. I'll show you tomorrow. But for the remainder of the night, I'm going to edit videos, do a little bit of work. Good morning. It's almost 7 a.m. I've been up since 6 and I've been seriously debating going to the gym today because I'm like, I washed my hair yesterday and I don't want to have to wash it again today, but I kind of want to go into the steam room today. So that's that. Girl problems, you know? This is my very last Magic Mind shot. I'm very sad, but I think I'm going to order myself another box using my own discount code. But yeah, I just honestly, like, I feel like I'm starting to rely on it at this point because of how beneficial it's been and i know that i keep talking about it but i would not be talking about something that does not work this much anyways it's wednesday the plan for today is to get a lot of work done to probably get some cleaning done we're gonna go to the gym and what else are we gonna do um, 
I need to figure out dinner plans because I have nothing planned for dinner. And yesterday I didn't cook anything for dinner because I thought that us going to Joey's, like I thought that we wouldn't be that hungry, but it was like 9 p.m. and I was starving. And um, so Mihai ended up making a frozen pizza, which was, it was okay, but I still needed more food. So I just like sat there eating apples with peanut butter and the peanut butter was so good. I have eggs, avocado, Mihai tried to squeeze some tangerine juice for me, coffee, and I'm also going to have a protein shake as well. Figured I'd show you what I'm taking this morning. This is my protein shake that I'm going to drink. I am getting very anxious about getting sick, and I feel like when you get anxious, that's when you end up getting sick. And so, plus I can't get sick because next week I'm going out of town. So I'm going to take this Umcora cold and flu just in case. And I'm going to take some hair vitamins. I have aloe vera gel pills here, vitamin C. I'm taking my athletic greens. And of course, this medicine is called coffee and it heals all. So that is, that is the lineup today. All right, guys, I quickly wanted to do a little Aritzia haul of what I got yesterday. Just a couple of things, but they're all essentials and things that I will be using for a really long time. Starting off with this top that I'm actually really, really excited for. So this is just a Babaton turtleneck, white long sleeved top. I really, really want to get a vest and I'm not like a typical sweater vest kind of gal, but I've been seeing it around everywhere a lot and I like the look of it so I'm going to give it a go. I'll probably find one maybe at the promenade or something like that but super simple. It is pretty see-through so definitely need like a bralette or something underneath it but I love the material. It's super soft and it's very lightweight so big fan of this top. I already have this in like a very light lavender color and I use it to sleep in and I love it because it's so buttery and so soft I never put it in the dryer so I picked it up in a different color it's just like this razor back tank top but I don't think I'll be sleeping in this because it's so cute on with jeans I tried it on in the fitting room it is by Sunday Best I love Sunday Best super nice super comfortable star of the show or i guess one of the stars of the show we got a pair of jeans i did not go into a resale looking for a pair of jeans and naturally i find a pair that fit me so so well they are a little bit more slim at the bottom which i love they are so flattering and they're like they pass the squat test guys super super nice pair of jeans highly recommend when I went in there, I was literally like, I don't think that these are gonna fit, but I just wanna try a couple of tops on with these jeans. Like, it would be amazing if they fit me. It would be amazing if they looked good, but I had zero expectations and they are really, really nice. These are the 80s mom jeans. They're high rise, relaxed through the hip and thigh. That's what it is. They're very, very relaxed, which is why I like it. And they're a tapered leg, so they do get pretty, like nicely, like comfortably slim obsessed levi jeans are just like such a good staple to have in your closet and you know that they're gonna last for a very long time this is why i went to aritzia i really wanted to stock up on some sweaters i only got one sweater so i still need to go and look for some more but i wanted a sweater for seattle this is the perfect sweater because it is cropped just right it's like you won't see my belly button but it's not too long and i just i just don't like sweaters that are too long i look very pale here am i okay this is by sunday best i got it in a size medium it is like a slight little turtleneck so nice so cozy it's 
perfect and especially with those jeans they are like the perfect high-rise so you literally don't see like any skin really i feel like i have the kind of body type where my hips are really wide so if i wear a really like large sweater it just kind of makes me look like this box as opposed to having a slightly cropped sweater and then my hips are a little bit wider so it gives me kind of like a slimming look when i do wear like a slightly cropped sweater so just a little trick that i've learned over the years of buying way too many oversized sweaters i had to change my battery okay this is the star of the show i have been looking for a fleece for a while now i ended up getting one from free people i returned it it looked terrible and naturally when you go to the store looking for one thing you end up buying things that you also need but did not expect to get that day so i found the in my opinion perfect fleece for california for actually i think any type of weather to be honest like this is perfect for nighttime here in california because it gets really cold but it'll be perfect in seattle especially with a couple of layers this is sunday best i got it in a size medium so that i could put sweaters under it it is the perfect cozy fleece i'm gonna try it on right now because i love it that much it also had different colors i really like the white i think it's very like cozy and kind of like almost Christmassy. I don't know why I associate white with Christmas. But anyways, look at how cute this is. Do we love? Because I love, and it's like the perfect fit. I highly recommend sizing up in this. It's the perfect size. Love it. I'm so happy with this purchase. I'm watching Gilmore Girls and me and I went to Trader Joe's because I didn't want to cook dinner and didn't want to order in. Nothing sounded good. I got tissues. And um, yeah, Mihai's gonna make me spaghetti because that's the only thing that sounds good to me. Spaghetti with some Parmesan. Oh, and we also got this. This is like my favorite thing ever. It's so good. And Mihai got himself some weird stuff. He wants french fries with eggs. Comment down below if you guys eat french fries with eggs. Right, Mihai? Oh. Nobody eats french fries with eggs. Feta? Okay, this is new. I don't know what it is, but it looks so good. Half dip chocolate vanilla sandwich bar. This looks so good. Clearly, I was craving sweets only. And then I got us some turmeric shots. Cheers. I 100% do not want to work out today. I don't know. Yesterday we fell asleep on the couch. So we went to bed at like almost one. And I watched a little bit of Gilmore Girls before I went to bed. So I feel like my sleep was like really off. I need to clean. I need to get my butt to the gym. And I need to get to work. I'm going to have a little bit of Celsius. Five degrees this morning so i'm wearing shorts sweats every time i go into my gym it's so hot in there but i don't know we'll see it's the first time i'm wearing shorts to the gym it's a big step for me i'm gonna make pre-workout because like i said we're out of my magic mind shots and i think this will really help with the lack of motivation to work out today i'm using alani news pre-workout breezeberry this pre-workout is one of the best on the market because it's not underdosed so highly recommend if you're looking for a good pre-workout mihai is literally the best I came home to a clean kitchen. He did all the dishes. 
get yourself a man who will do that for you because I feel like this entire week actually I've come home from the gym and the kitchen spotless because of Mihai so very happy about that I still have a bit of cleaning that I need to do that I mentioned like clean the bathroom finish up the laundry um, just like mop sweep dust all of that typical Friday or Thursday <laughs> Thursday stuff but I was listening to a podcast kind of chilly in here today that had a lot to do well the podcast that I just showed you biohacking your hormones and um, they were talking a lot about protein and how a lot of women actually only get around 25 like 25 to 50 grams of protein per day if not less and for women especially that are between the ages of 35 and 45 that is really bad because it can lead to muscle loss and it's really really bad for for you and i was like texting my mom and i'm like are you getting enough protein in throughout the day because it's not healthy for you it'll ruin your hormones if you're not this and that protein is a very crucial macronutrient like you can survive without carbs but you cannot survive without protein and fats obviously fat is for your hormones for your brain all of that good stuff but so is protein and a lot of people myself included even don't get enough protein in throughout the day so for the last i think i would say like a couple of weeks couple of months i've been making it a priority to consume a lot of protein especially throughout the mornings getting like 75 to 85 grams of protein and during dinner is just not realistic which is why it's smart to space it out so i try to get in over 100 grams of protein per day now you figure it out yourself do what works for you but that's what works for me if i don't eat enough protein i will keep coming back to the kitchen for more food and i will always overeat protein is incredibly important if you're not getting it in start getting it in protein packs good fats in here delicious not pretty but delicious and it gets the job done I'm having this shake. I definitely prefer the strawberry banana, but I'm trying to finish these. I have like five left and moving forward, I will only order the strawberry banana because it's way better. But this is pretty good too if you're a chocolate fan. I brought up Christmas decor and I did not realize that I don't actually have Christmas decor. I just have this um, very wonderful little ornament for friends. <laughs> I love this so much. It's so funny. And then I have like a thingy to put under the tree, a Christmas hat, and a whole lot of lights. So, um, I need to go to Target and get stockings because I'm ready to start filling them. I just found my 2021 planner and look at this. I was like a crazy person who filled <laughs> everything out. So I have this box that I got from actually my mom bought this for me when I was in middle school and I keep all of my like important stuff in it. I have like this thing with all of my documents and just like a ton of I went through all of this. These are all like letters that I got and like birthday cards and stuff like that and then a couple that I gave me hi I'm just keeping them in here for a safe storage and anyways I went through this whole thing I went through that whole thing I cleaned that up which has all of my like recording stuff for my camera I found this bad boy is it a nimble I forget what this is called but you put your phone in it and you can vlog with it I'm gonna bring it on our trips because I'm getting a new phone which I'll be able to record on which I'm very excited about and anyways so I cleaned all of that up and this is all, aside from my socks and cream, um, this is all of the trash that came out of it. So you guys, this is a sign to clean out your stuff because you probably have so much trash that you have accumulated over the months or years or whatever. It's literally just like journals that are completely filled out that are unnecessary, loose papers, like a bunch of documents that are like ripped up that are unnecessary, old lipsticks, lip glosses, etc. I'm gonna put this away and I went through all of the books that were in the living room and um these are all of my TBR because I am struggling with reading. I need to read these. I want to read these before the new year. So 
yeah, I'm gonna keep them here so that I could stare at them so they could make me feel guilty for not reading them. I have them separated into categories. Uh, this one is just poetry, so that shouldn't belong there. But these are all fiction books that I want to read, and a couple of them, like Normal People, read that already. I have not read Conversations with Friends. I haven't read the partner track. But anyways, a couple of these are obviously books I've already read. And then this one, I started reading it or I started listening to the audiobook of it. And it was so good that I was like, I need the hard, co the hard copy of it so that I could highlight it. But I still haven't gotten into it. This, Mihai got me this for Christmas and I keep saying I'm going to read it. But I don't know, it intimidates me because I'm like, I'm so indecisive and I just can't imagine being a decisive individual. Like, I just can't imagine that for me. I really need to read it. That's my point. I started reading this. I'm a little bit in. It's just poetry, which I love. Mihai also got me this. I really need to read it. <laughs> These are my nonfiction books that I want to read, and a couple of them I've already read. Like, I've read all of these Stephen Pressfield books. I love them, but I like to keep them nearby because they are so beneficial when you are struggling. This one, I'm pretty deep into it, but I haven't finished it, so I want to read that. This one I started, didn't finish. I want to finish it. Um, this one, I've been meaning to read it. Started it didn't finish it this is like my problem i start then i don't finish this one seems just very interesting for me and then where is it this one is about introverts and i heard that it's i heard such positive things about it so i really want to get through it or start it and then get through it this one i have been itching to read this book so oh so much i need to read it this one i got it last year and um didn't start it. I need to read it. Are you guys noticing a pattern? Poetry. This one, I got it a couple of weeks ago, I think. I'm very excited about this one. I really need to start reading it. This one, same. And these are two Dr. Joe Desponza books that I've heard such positive things about. Becoming Supernatural and Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. I need to read these. You guys, make me read them. And of course, this one but like look at this this is thick how am i supposed to like how am i supposed to make time for this <sighs> okay as you can see i have my work cut out for me and then um i just have two more books right there that i need to read as well so that's that this one is actually the silent patient i really want to reread it and then i'm reading tell me lies all right guys it is the end of the work week i'm very happy right now because we made it. We made it. I'm making dinner right now. I also finished cleaning, by the way. I had a really long meeting, but it is all done. I'm making dinner, and I'm making a very simple, lazy dinner, honestly. I'm making these chicken sausages from Amy Lou. Since we're going on our trip next week, I figured we should try to clean out the fridge. French fries from Mihai. He got these yesterday at Whole Foods, or not Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and they're actually pretty good. There's some leftover pasta that I figured we could eat. And then the most important part of the meal, this delicious salad. There's kale in here, cucumbers, tomatoes, some peppers. I might add some of these olives, they're so good. And I'm just gonna top it with this Italian dressing, which is really good. And probably add a little bit of Parmesan cheese as well. So that will be dinner. I'm going to light some candles, make it super cozy in here.